Hello, hello, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Danny, and this is my first video from a new port. We are currently in Singapore. So it is beautiful here. It's so exciting to change locations. When we first arrived, we had to get a PCR test, a serology test, and our booster shots. But now I'm gonna get into this vlog, which has nothing to do with Singapore. We're actually going to take a look into what crew quarters are like, and I'm gonna give you a tour of a couple different crew cabins on board Spectrum of the Seas. <laughs> Welcome to my crew cabin. Here we are. I'm going to give you a tour. This is the entrance that we just walked through. This is my birthday card and my movie ratings because I've been watching quite a few movies. This is my laundry bag, by the way. We've got a coat rack here. I've got my masks. And as you walk in, you have a little table here. Also, this can come down. I'll show you. So putting the table down can make for a lot more space, but I usually leave it up because I use it for all of my arts and crafts. The TV and the bunk beds because this is made for two people. Oh, and there are curtains on the bunk beds that close, but I took one of them off just because it was kind of in the way and I like to leave them open because it just makes it seem like there's a lot more space but obviously if you had a roommate you can do that for privacy reasons. At the moment I've got my shoes under the bed and my suitcase. The life jackets actually do have to be visible as well as some extra toiletry items and my yoga mat. And then over here in the cubbies I've got all my workout stuff here, extra water bottles by the side. Skates, leggings, t-shirts. And then I have a little bit of extra space here because this is meant for whoever else is living with me. But I have a photo album and some kitchen supplies, dishware, tea, and a mug. I've got all my books and things. This is kind of like my snack area. Some of the snacks I've got a variety, but you can kind of have a look. We've got lots of hot hot cocoa packets, oatmeal, granola bars, candy. And then the same thing for this upper level. Lots of different snacks, granola, I have silverware, popcorn, pop tarts. And then I've got some toilet paper and books and cleaning supplies on the top here. There are plugs. We have this weird kind that you need a converter for and then we also have a regular plug, but I have an extension with multiple outlets it also leads to this light here that i've attached to the side of my bed and there are lights underneath as well for like a reading light there's also a random light under here under the tv which makes things a lot brighter um i have all my little toys on the top there and then jewelry and things over here and we also have a fridge, a mini fridge here. I have all my electronics in the top drawer and all of my craft supplies in the second drawer. This door here is the bathroom. Hey. And next to it, we have our wardrobe. Usually one side for each person, each crew member, but I have both sides. So I've got dresses and long sleeves over here, all my shorts on the top. Denim jeans and denim shorts on this shelf, as well as lotions and perfumes, deodorant, etc. And then I have all my shirts over here. I have this really cool hanger that's made for scarves, but can hold a lot of items on it. Super useful. As well as these hangers, which make five hangers turn into one. Oh. So I've got my purses in there. Then at the bottom, we just have some storage space here. I've got cleaning supplies and um, a pair of shoes. These slide out and socks. That's pretty much the wardrobe. And now I will show you the bathroom. So this is what the restroom looks like. It has places to hang your towels here on the side. It's pretty much just a shower, toilet, and a sink. It gets the job done. 
it's pretty cozy overall. Um, you can brush your teeth while going to the bathroom. <laughs> but there's this extra space here as well. Um, I have this little thing hanging out by magnets and all my stuff here. This is what, this is how much space it is when you close the curtain. So yeah, this is about it. Dee -dee -dee. Here's the shower head, at least it is tall enough. And so that's pretty much it. Obviously you can close the door. I never do because I don't have a roommate and it's a little bit claustrophobic. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, and of course, my favorite part. Oh. I have double sets of lights. And that's the cabin tour. Not too much to show, but it gets the job done. And the little things that make it feel like home are my favorite parts. Now I'm gonna show you some of my other cabin mates rooms who have a different style and shape based on their role or department. Okay, this is a single chair where Daniel is. Welcome. It's called a single share because look what you share. This is so sad. This is your shower? Just so I can power some of me inside it. So this is the bathroom. <laughs> this is the shower. And this is where you share the space with someone who lives in the cabin opposite. And it looks just like this one, but through this door. And so you've got the shower. And this is... <laughs> sort of feels like so yeah and a tiny sink show them your beautiful bed so we don't fall out on rocky seas <laughs> and the TV at the end there's also a little ladder that hangs in the closet, you know, if you can't get up on the bed. And you get a fridge too. Yes, tiny little fridge. So this is, this is it. <laughs> This is our rigger's cabin, the entrance is here. You go this way, you got the bed and the bunk. There's this storage here, and the shelves, and the desk. Oh, and a little fridge there and drawers. Then you've got the main bed, and a bed that pulls down from the wall. this wardrobe and the bathroom. Oh. That's pretty much it. Okay, so this is one of our featured singers in the show. Lenny, let me show you guys what the room looks like. So we just came through the door here. And singers on board have larger rooms with a porthole. Oh. So you've got the bed here, a little couch, TV, all of this space, fridge. And the best part is the porthole. Ooh. So you can look outside. And then there's this extra bed up top. And then over to the side, we have the bathroom. Oh nice and tiny with the shower toilet sink that's pretty much it i mean this one is a lot larger but it's the same size as the bunks so this is kind of give you a feel pretty decent size 
living space. Uh, lots of storage here, here. You've got the wardrobe and drawers, cubby spaces, and like I said, this extra bed here. So that's pretty much a look. Hi, welcome to Kappel's cabin. <laughs> Yay, so this is Annette's cabin and she is living with her boyfriend, David and they have it all set up this space here is like an extra little corridor that they got very lucky with because most cabins don't have it it's just based on like the shape of the ship and where it's located so you enter here and there's the bed with an extra bed that pulls down on top we've got cubbies at the end and a desk space refrigerator you've got these cubbies and a wardrobe here and here like a little bit of extra space here on the side coat rack this is the bathroom similar to the other ones it just has a sink toilet and a shower same size as the porthole room and the bunk beds and that's pretty much it it's pretty spacious overall how is it for two people? How do you feel? Yeah, we got very lucky with the big desk, which smaller cabins don't have, and like higher ceilings, so we can like sit on the bed. Yeah, you so can actually sit. A privilege, like small things like that. So, yay! yay. Thanks for sharing. My pleasure. This is the last cabin on the tour. <laughs> so there you have it. for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and the sneak peek into what the living quarters are like for crew on board a cruise ship as you have seen there is quite the variety of shapes and sizes of cabins depending on your department and your ranking so i hope you enjoyed and next video is going to be a look into what the guest cabins are like on board so follow along for more and i'll catch you guys in the next video Aww. two three